Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be discussing my top three favourite lubes and my top three worst, well, least worn Louboutins. And I'm going to start off with my most loved pair. I've kind of categorised them as like low heel, mid heel, high heel. I do actually have a couple favourite really high heel Louboutins. Not a lot, but a few. And I'm going to start off with the low heel favourites before I get into the ones which I don't really wear. So starting off with my lower heel height Louboutins, it is the... Jonatinas, of course, in nude. I have these in black as well. I only really purchase black and nude Louboutins, but I do have the odd colorful pair or Strauss pair, but those are more pieces which I just collect and kind of keep on my shelf because they look great <laughs> on my shelf and they're not you know, great to walk in. But these are honestly one of my favorites. I will most probably be repurchasing them because I do wear these quite a lot. Which doesn't really show. I mean, I've worn the black quite a lot. These are <laughs> these are more of a recent purchase, but I'm obsessed. I think the color is perfect, the size is perfect, the height and the angle that your foot at is absolutely amazing. These are super comfortable and worth every penny. So if you are looking to purchase a pair of comfortable, strappy heels and you weren't interested in the Gian Vito Rossi's, which are more or less the same, they just don't have the PVC kind of strap. They are just as comfortable. I don't have any bad words today about those either, but these, they've got that signature red sole, and I am a sucker for a red sole, which is a bit, it's a bit sad, but I cannot live without my Louboutins. It was one of the first brands I ever started to purchase. I feel like this is a brand which I will continue to purchase from for the rest of my life until I become an old granny that can't wear heels. Until then, I'm gonna keep buying lubes. I love these, these are my faves. My second favorite pair are the Pigalle Folies. I've put all my favorites in nude and my least favorites are in black. As you can see, the little heel stop has come off, unfortunately, but they are super comfortable. And these are 100 millimeters, those are also 100 millimeters. So I've kind of like varied the styles more or less as opposed to the heel heights, but these are so comfortable. For those wondering what the difference between the Pigal Foley's are with the Socates and the Pigals in general, there is a few differences, which I feel like this is the hybrid, the baby of those two. So the Socates have an elegant, thin heel which the Pigal Folies have inherited and the Pigals have a very short toe which the Socates do not have. The Socates have a rather long toe and the toe cleavage on that is a bit weird. I personally like a short pointed toe because I don't want my like my foot looking larger than it actually is. I do have small feet but it's not like I really want my foot to look any bigger than it actually is. So I feel like these are the perfect ones and if you aren't a confident heel wearer these are probably one of the best first pairs to purchase if you are looking to purchase your first pair of lubes whether in black or nude they are a great pair and i cannot say anything bad about these either they're fab my next favorite pair is one of the most ratchet pairs i own they are in fact very very old they are the highness heels in nude of course as you can see they are disgusting i haven't worn these in about two years and they have just been scuffed up and I mean I love these they are one of the most comfortable platform heels that Louboutin has created but I just don't wear platform heels anymore because I don't have a reason to when I was underage and going out shh, <laughs> these are the heels I would wear for height because obviously I'm a very small person and I needed to look about 25 when I was only 18 so these did the job. I love these. I purchased these in black as well and they're very similar to the daffodils that I own as well as the shameless heels. But because they have a thin heel, they are slightly uncomfortable. But the durability of these in comparison to the pigals and the slightly shorter heels is a lot better. I feel like they've lasted me a lot longer and they've gone through a lot tougher times than the other heels that I own. Maybe the quality is kind of decreased with lubes, but I personally feel that these are great. You know what, I'm gonna cherish these forever because they've gone through some shit times with me. And I mean, literally walking through shit. I love these and I'm not the kind of person to take my shoes off after a long night out. So thank you for being good to me. <laughs> so on to my least worn slash least favorite lubes. 
Unfortunately, I never thought I would ever put this pair in here, but it has to be the Gloriana flat. I did purchase two of these because I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. They're flat. I love them. But, oh, my little finger sticking out there. But they're just too flat. I mean, they have no sort of heel. They're very soft and I do have a wide foot. So I feel like my foot kind of spills out, not like in a disgusting way. It just, it, it takes the shape of the shoe, but not in an elegant way. Whereas with the Chanel flats, my foot seems more or less more elegant than compared to these. I feel like these are shoes you just kind of throw on to drive around in as opposed to wear out. Though I have destroyed them. I wear them, I used to wear them quite often, but now I just can't seem to wear them anymore. I think the older you get, the flatter the shoe, the more difficult it is to wear. Why is that? These, I, I mean, you could obviously, they are flat, so you can wear them for a, long, a larger period of time compared to a pair of heels, but they're just so flat. They honestly hurt your heels and the balls of your feet, which is not a great sign. They also released a pair similar to these with a leather sole, like a lambskin sole, as opposed to a wooden sole, whatever this is. And those were called the Air Lubies. They were intended solely to be worn on airplanes as well as in the house. And I thought those are great. But again, very soft, very flimsy. Those are the kind of shoes you just kind of throw on, keep in your bag. I love these, I really do. I've got a brand new pair waiting for me to be worn because I thought I would wear these a lot. So I did actually purchase a second pair before they discontinued them. But, they are not the most comfortable. I wish I did purchase the nude. I probably would have got more use out of the nude because I hardly really wear black flats unless it's the espadrilles, which is strange. My next pair takes the trophy for being the most ridiculously painful and uncomfortable shoe I have ever purchased in my entire life. Hence why they have not been worn even though they were purchased nearly four or five years ago and have remained on my shelf ever since. As you can see, they still have the sticker on the sole because they have not been worn. These are the hot chips and they are intended for the experienced heel walker. Obviously, I thought I was experienced enough when I was in the store and I was trying them on. Turns out I'm only intermediate, not really a beginner, but 113 millimeters of pure pain. That's 13 centimeters. And as you can see, that heel and that slope of your foot is just not comfortable. These are just pain pure pain not worth what i purchased them for but i feel like they were an iconic pair that was released and i can't seem to get rid of them i really can't i mean i do love these and they just sit on my shelf and they look like elegant pieces of art i like to look at them i don't I don't want to think about wearing them if i feel bad when i look at them i'll probably put them on take a couple steps walk around my room in front of a mirror and then just be like oh take them off and put them back on the shelf because they are just so uncomfortable, it's ridiculous. I I honestly have to take my hats off to the women that do know how to walk in these, but the hot chicks, I am so sorry. You are not that hot. You literally are not that hot. <laughs> my last pair of uncomfortable heels is in fact a pair which I genuinely really love, well used to really love and wear a lot, but can't really wear anymore. It is the Louboutin Equestria boots. These are a beautiful pair of boots, which I purchased a couple of years ago. And I was in love with them when I first saw them. I saw them on a few Tumblr posts. I had seen them in suede, in a taupe as well as a black, but these were the only ones that came with a gold hardware. Us Persians love our gold, so I had to get the gold. And they're great. I mean, they are like the daft booty, but the less basic option. and. They're just so cool. They're just not comfortable at all though. I can't last more than half an hour on these, unfortunately. They are in fact a size 37, so slightly bigger than the usual size I go for. But they're great. They are honestly, they're stunning. I just can't wear them. So a lot of the shoes I own, I literally just keep just to look at or eventually think well, I feel like I'll eventually get used to them and wear them. So I am a bit of a hoarder, but I feel like I find it hard to part from these shoes because I did purchase them so long ago and at a time where I worked so hard to save up for these that I feel like giving them away would be like 
wrong. <laughs> I was about 16 or 17, 16, 17 when I started properly earning from my blog and my social media. I did start my blog when I was about 14, but when I purchased my first pair at 16, that was it. I could not stop purchasing these and it was love at every shoe. <laughs> I could not stop and I still can't stop. I still love the brand so much and it hurts me to honestly say that these shoes are painful but I feel like if you can afford them and you don't mind a bit of pain, if that's your thing, um, why not? <laughs> why not go for it, you know? These shoes are lovely and I can't, I can't stop, I can't, I have, I have a bit of a problem. Um, you know when someone says they're a shopaholic or like they're addicted to something, I feel like I genuinely have that problem. Not just with lubes, just in general. Every night before I go to sleep, I will shop online or at least window shop online and add things to my cart. I, I, every night without fail. It's a bit sad, but... <laughs> I love my lubes and those are my top three most loved and least worn so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know a lot of you guys are asking me to do one like this um, and discuss styles which are worth purchasing for your first pair of lubes definitely don't consider like super high heels like the daffodils or the highness look more into a pair of pigal folies as a pair of pigal Pigals or so Kate's definitely do not purchase so Kate's and make sure ideally you want to be at 100 millimeters no higher even though you may be used to like higher heels Christian Louboutin is a whole different ball game compared to different brands compared to other brands and I, I can't say it's worth purchasing 120 millimeters as a first time um, pair because you won't be used to it I'm still not really used to it which is a bit sad but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. That was supposed to be for thumbs up, but yeah. Subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know what else you guys want to see if you are enjoying these videos.